In my previous videos, I was trying to find differences between the gaming distributions and their base systems. In the end, I found there are not many performance gaps between them. During the process, I found that for F122, different launchers delivered different performance numbers with Mongo Hot. So in this video, let's find out which launcher is the best for Linux gamers. Before that, this video is brought to you by Brilliant. Learning a little every day is one of the most important things you can do, both for personal and professional growth. Brilliant is where you learn by doing. With thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI, it is a learning platform designed to be uniquely effective. Recently, Brilliant launched a ton of new content in how technology works, takes you inside the technology you use every day, helping you understand how it actually works. For example, computer memory session covers computational logic with hands-on experiments with transistors. GPS explores all the ways technology can be used to pinpoint your location. Strong passwords explore what makes a strong password and look at how websites, accounts, and password get compromised. Video compression, learn why some online videos buffer and how compression enables modern streaming. With fun lessons you can do whenever you have time, Brilliant helps you build real knowledge in minutes a day. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash mumblinghugo or click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off for an annual premium subscription. This video will focus on non-Steam launchers to run AAA Windows games. Not only will I compare the performance, I will also show you how I set up each game using different launchers. These games are installed on a separate SSD mounted into the system. So in the end, you'll be well informed to choose your next game launcher based on their workflow. Starting with the distribution, I am using the latest Pop! OS 2204 NVIDIA official version. I'm planning to do a performance test on its Alpha Cosmic DE after this. So if you're curious, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video to support me. Thanks in advance. Next, I've installed a heroic launcher, bottles, Lutris, along with Mongo Hut using Flatpak to make sure that everything is running in sandboxes. The games I chose were still the same as mentioned in this video. Cyberpunk 2077 in 1440p, F122, the Callisto Protocol, and Watchdog Legion in 4K Ultra settings. The other thing I want to mention is that when using Mango Hut to record the FPS, there are two sets of output data. One shows up after stopping the Mango Hut recording. The other one is the CSV file Mango Hut output. Usually, they don't match each other no matter which distribution I use. Previously, I found the CSV files were more comparable, which was what I used in my old videos. But in this video, I will show you both datasets, letting you decide which dataset to use. Finally, all the benchmarks will be run with ProtonGE 8.26 to make sure that we have the control group consistent. Let's set up the games on bottles. After the initial setup of the bottles during the first time startup, go to Performance, Runners, Wine GE, and install GE Proton 8.26 version. Go back to the Bottles tab and create a gaming environment bottle. Wait for the startup to be done. Go into the bottle, select Settings, and change the runner to the correct version. First, let's set up F122. Add a shortcut to the game .exe file. If you don't see any .exe file in the pop-up window, make sure to change the supported executables into all files. Click the three dot button and change the launch options. Add mongohot command in the command arguments inside. Try running the game by clicking the play button. If the game doesn't start, close it, start bottles with flatpak run command in the terminal, and read the log. For me, I saw the library not found error. This was because my game was located in an external drive, so I needed to enable the file access from flatseal. Reboot bottles and re-adding the game shortcut. It reported the issue saying DirectX 12 is not compatible with the Windows version. So I changed the Windows version from 10 to 8.1 
and back to 10, and the game started to work. After F122 launched, go into the game settings, graphic settings, video mode, and make sure the resolution is 4K. Frame rate limit is off. Confirm changes. Then, in the detail preset, change it to ultra high and start the benchmark. I'm running the monocle track. Because it is a narrow track, everything needs to be rendered close to each other. Start and stop. The FPS recording use left shift and F2. You will give us the results as an overlay. CSV files will be output to the user's home folder. To install the Callisto protocol, after adding the shortcut, the game said it needs a Visual Studio library. Go to dependencies for the bottle. Search C++, install 2019 version, and the game will start. Wait for the shader compilation to complete, then go to options, graphics, and set the graphic to ultra. Apply the setting. Use test performance to start benchmarking on the current settings. Following the same procedure, I set up the Watch Dogs Legion. No tinkering needed this time. After the game launch, go to the Quality tab and set the graphics quality to Ultra and start Benchmark 2. Cyberpunk can also be launched without any tinkering. Go to Settings, Video, change the resolution to 1440p and Window Mode to Full Screen. Apply. Go to Graphics tab and make sure the preset is ray tracing ultra, then run the benchmark. Next, let's try out Heroic Launcher. After the application is launched, go to Wine Manager and make sure the GE Proton version is installed and selected. Go to Settings and Game Defaults. Other, enable Mongo HUD option here so we don't have to add command for every game. To make sure the Flatpak can access the external drive, I need to open up the file access permission in the flat seal and restart Heroic Launcher. To set up F122, go to the library, click Add Game, put F122 as title, make sure platform is Windows, and select Executable. Start the game after clicking the Finish button. No error saying Windows version is not compatible this time. Change the settings according to the bottle section. To set up the Callisto protocol, Simply add the game. To solve the C++ issue, open the game setting, click Wine Tricks, and search VC. Install VC Run 2019. Wait for it to finish and start the game. Change the game graphics to Ultra and start the benchmark. To set up the Watch Dogs Legion, simply add the game .exe file to the launcher and run it. Same for the Cyberpunk 2077. Finally, it's Lutris' turn. Turn on GPU and file permission in FlatSeal for Lutris first, so Mango Hut can write files properly. Click the Manage Version button for Wine and install Wine GE 8.26 version. Go to Preference, Global Options, click the Advanced button, and turn on FPS Counter Mango Hut option and Save. To set up F122, click the Add button and add locally installed games. Add the game title and choose Wine as the runner. Go to Game Options and choose Game .exe file. Make sure you select or create a new prefix folder when adding the locally installed games, otherwise they won't launch. Now click the Play button. Lutris also didn't report the Windows version compatibility error. To set up the Callisto protocol, we can use the same prefix location. And to solve the C++ issue, Click the arrow button beside Wine, then launch Wine Tricks. Install the application. There is no VC 2019 this time, so I tried using the VS Tool 2019. After several x64 warnings, the pop-ups stopped. I tried playing the game again, and it didn't solve the issue. And somehow the Windows version was changed to Windows 7. I had to change it back to Windows 10 in the Wine configuration window. So instead, I chose to run exe inside prefix folder and run both x86 and x64 VC Redis installer. The game launched after that. To set up the Watch Dogs Legion, similar process to set up with the same prefix folder. Same for the Cyberpunk 2077. No additional tinkering needed. Let's compare the data now. The first interesting observation from my girlfriend is that even though 0.1% and 1% numbers are different between overlay and CSV, 
all the average numbers from Mango Hut for all the games are consistent. On F122, we see the same issue like I mentioned above, that Lutris has a poor performance on both overlay and CSV data compared to Heroic. It is far behind Bottles and Heroic with F122. And it also has lower numbers on Watch Dogs Legion in the CSV numbers and Cyberpunk 2077 on overlay data, but not very far behind in the later two cases. The third finding is that on Heroic Launcher and Bottles, Cyberpunk 2077 cannot detect the NVIDIA GPU driver, so the ray tracing ultra is using ASFR. But in Lutris, the game is using NVIDIA DRSS. Even with this difference, Lutris didn't rank on top place. Bottles still take the crown for this game. The final finding is that, except for the F122 numbers, these three launchers don't show much performance differences, but bottles perform best overall. So I would say, go with any launcher you find is more suitable for your understanding. They perform the same. Lutris may have some low numbers in certain games. It also has better NVIDIA GPU support out of the box, but it doesn't perform better than others. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.